Experts say there's an alarming decline in the nationwide honeybee population, a population which plays a big part in farming because of their essential work with pollination. News Channel 18's Jesse Hawila reports some Purdue scientists are working to find a solution. When it comes to pollination, these guys are the bee's knees. Unfortunately, not all is going well for the honeybee population. There seem to be many factors that are causing the honeybee die-offs, and, and several things have been looked at, including viruses, uh, mites. Uh, the focus of our study was pesticides, which has been listed as one of the primary factors in, in causing uh, problems with honeybee health. Kripke says that not all pesticides are responsible for killing the bees in mass numbers. He and his team have spent time researching a particular pesticide commonly found with commercial corn and soybean farming called neonicotinoids. Besides being a great word for a spelling bee, what's all the buzz? Honeybees don't have a lot of the resistance to insecticides that pests do. So on one single kernel of seed, you have enough insecticide to kill tens of thousands of honeybees. An entire colony can, can theoretically be wiped out by the insecticide on one kernel. With all of the possible consequences of this pesticide recognized, what kind of sting can you expect? There's an example where they talk about an orchard an almond orchard where they have no bees and they have literally almost no almonds out of it. And they put bees in there and they get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds per acre. I mean, it's night and day. Smaller yields on these bee dependent crops can lead to bigger bucks at the checkout. And that's buzz we all need to be aware of. Reporting from West Lafayette, Jesse Hawila, News Channel 18. Christian Krupke tells us it's now estimated that nearly 30% of the honeybee population dies every year.